What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we're talking about the film breakdown, film analysis of Jamin Davis, first round pick out of Kentucky for the Washington football team. And we have game one against the New England Patriots. And first off, before we go into the breakdown, I just, my thoughts on him after being drafted and throughout this process was he's super athletic, he's a super freak athlete, honestly. But I thought he was going to need a little bit of time to develop, and they're also throwing a lot at him when it comes to the middle linebacker position. I wanted him to play on the outside, leave John Bostic in the middle. He's the one with the, all the experience, knows the defense, played in it last year, have Jamin on one side and Cole Holcomb on the other, and that gives us great speed on the outside. And then you have John Bostic, the quote-unquote brains of the defense, on the inside. Well, they have opted to put Jamin in the middle, John Bostic on the outside, and Cole Holcomb on the other side. And I think that's kind of a mistake, to be honest. We'll see how long they stick with that. But John Bostic should not be on the outside. He doesn't have the speed for the outside. And I think he should be on the inside, protected by everything. You know, let him be the middle zone guy where he kind of just hangs out and lets things come to him. But that's what Jamin was in this game. And we'll go on from there. So I'm going to start with the positives, and honestly, there wasn't much positives from this game. But it, look, mainly, this is the thing. It's only one game, all right? I'm not writing anybody off after one game. It's not like he stinks. It's not like he's terrible. He's a rookie, and there's, as he said, they're throwing a ton at him, and it seemed like it, okay? And we're going to hop into the negatives now, okay? First off, he was overthinking, it seemed like, way too often, all right? It seemed like his feet were stuck in in the mud, especially when it came to the run game. I didn't see him really fill gaps a lot. It seems like he was waiting for the blockers to come to him, waiting for the ball carriers to come to him. A lot of his plays were several yards downfield, uh, and I wasn't really pleased with that. I, I, I would like to see him more of an attack mode. But then, to say that, you, you ever have one of those days where it seems like you could never be right? Like, no matter what you do, the something opposite happens or the thing that wasn't supposed to happen happens. Well, then I saw him try to actually get in there and attack one time. And then it's a play action right over his head, right in the zone that he's going to supposed to be covered. And you're like, darn it. <laughs> you know, it, it seemed like he finally, because it was one of the last drive, if not the last drive he was on. And it seemed like he finally was like, okay, I'm going to get after it. I'm going to go try to make some plays. I'm going to go to try to make some tackles. And then that happens, and it just sucks to see for the young man. Uh, and But he did, one of his last drives, he did finally seem to try to go underneath a blocker, attack a little bit. He ended up making a tackle. Again, it was seven yards downfield, but at least he was trying to fight through the defense rather than just kind of pitter-patter, wait to see where the running back get, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, you, you're a linebacker. You're supposed to be filling your holes. You know what gap you're supposed to be in in a run and play, and hit the hole and try to make something happen. Uh, and... I would like to see a lot more about that. As far as coverage goes, you know, there was a couple of times he's in the flat with the running back, which, you know, he, he did nothing wrong there. The ball didn't go his way, so fine. Uh, and there was one time, though, where he was in the middle, and I thought he sagged too far back from the line of scrimmage, and it left way too much room. I believe it was even on a first and 10 or first and 15, and it allowed the running back to get like 10 yards on that first down or eight, nine yards, somewhere in there, a big chunk of it back. And I thought that the play kind of called for he should come up and sag up because there was three receivers short and then two receivers deep. Well, he has three safeties deep, so why is he worrying about getting so far back and I thought that the play recognition wasn't quite there, and I thought he should have come up quicker, and then maybe, it, who knows, the ball may have not have gone there, or if the ball did go there like it did, he would have been there to make a quicker tackle for a shorter gain. You know, ticky-tack if you want to call it ticky-tack, whatever. But there wasn't a whole lot to go off yet as far as a guy that you would like to see out of the first round. It's not like Chase Young where he got on the third play and he got the QB hit. You know, you, you didn't see anything like that out of Jamin. And that's okay, though. As I said, it's game one. We're not going to kill him. We're not going to say he sucks. We're not going to say that uh, we shouldn't have drafted him yet. It, it, there's many, many, many other games to decide that today is not the day. But I just wanted to bring this, guys, to you, let you know my thoughts, let you guys know 
what uh, what's going on with Jamin Davis. And hopefully game number two against the Bengals, he has a much better day against Joe Burrow and company. We'll go ahead and see Jamar Chase, the first-round pick for them, the number five overall, and see what they got. And I'm excited to see it. But you guys let me know what you guys thought about his performance in game number one down in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also in the description below, there's a Discord link. Hop on our Discord and come talk some football. And last but not least, there are donation links in the description below. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel. Jamin, it's okay. No, no sounding alarms yet. Just letting you know my thoughts. And until next time, see ya!